Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a basic organization chart in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Do you need to illustrate the hierarchy of your business? Doodly is a great way to connect the dots. Today, we're going to create a simple organization chart. Now, I went ahead and downloaded a few headshots of people for a fictional company, and I'd like to make an organization chart showing who reports to whom. You'll see that I've selected photos that have a plain background, and I used some editing tools to make them the same size and shape. So they look consistent across the board. They all have a, a thin black border around them. And I think that really helps just to give it a cohesive look. You'll notice that I have the numbers 250 by 250 written down. And I just wanted to remind you to size your photos fairly small to begin with before you upload them into Doodly. And the reason I want to do that is because if you have them too large, you can't shrink them down too much. You're limited as far as what size you can shrink them. For example, if I click on this lady here, I can make her go quite a bit smaller. That's as small as it'll allow me to go, and that's probably about as small as I would go. However, if this file was a larger size, I wouldn't be able to shrink it down to these nice little square sizes that I currently have. So let's go ahead and we'll get rid of this and add some titles and names to our organizational chart. And the reason I want to do this before we add the lines is because it's going to affect our layout. I like the font and size for both of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and control click to select them both at the same time and then control or command um, C for copy and then control or command V for paste. Now I have an identical selection here and I'm just going to do that. I'm going to paste again and again. So let's give this guy a name. He'll be our chief technical officer. Okay, so I have my titles and names and that has affected my layout. I do need to move things around just a little. It seems a little crowded down here. So let's go ahead, control click to group your items and I want to move her up just a touch. Give us a little breathing room for these three. And then I also want to move both Ralph and Francis up. These are just a little too close to the bottom. And I think that looks nice. Control A to select them all. And I might just shrink them down just a touch. I do need room for, you know, company name organization chart. So maybe I will go a little smaller. Okay, so the layout's just fine. Now we need to add the lines. And there are a couple ways you can do it. We can, we'll start with the doodly way where we already have some lines and arrows pre-installed. So if we go over to props, categories, shapes, and now you have some lines and arrows that you can use. Now, one of the, the problems that you may run into is you might not be able to get your items small enough. For example, see, this is the same issue with uploading photos that are too big. You can't get them small enough. So this might not work very well. It should be okay for this. We can go like that and then we can copy and paste it. And that works fine for this particular case, but it's going to be too big for Rick to Ralph and Rick to Francis. I think the same is going to be true with these arrows. 
no we could use we could use these arrows here and for continuity let's go ahead and delete this one and this one we could do the same with this and then one more for Alicia and this one's kind of problematic because it's too big so of course you could rearrange the chart a little bit to make these arrows work and that's one way to do it and I like that in in many cases it'll be just fine but I did want to show you how you could do some custom line drawings and it'll give it a really neat look now you will need to use another graphics editing program you know, like if you have Photoshop or one of those so this is an advanced optional technique okay so not everybody's gonna be able to do it but I did want to show you how you could do it so once I have the chart laid out the way I like it I'm gonna take a screenshot of it I've imported my screenshot into Pixelmator Pro. It's a photo editing software program. You can use Photoshop or any of the other Affinity Designer or what have you that support layers. So I'm gonna add an empty layer. And what I wanna do is draw my lines on top. And then eventually I'm gonna turn off this background and I'll only have the lines left. And that's what I'm gonna export to Doodly but I do need the background to show so I know where to draw these lines. Now, I've, I'm using my paint tool. I've selected a gel pen, and I'm just gonna use red. I think that'll be fine, and I think this brush size will be fine. And once I have it, I'm just gonna start drawing my lines. And I like them being kind of loosey-goosey because Remember, the doodly hand is going to be drawing these for us as well. So it needs to look like it's hand drawn, so it don't have to be precise and neat. And I like that. That's going to be just fine. So now I'm going to turn off my background and I have these ugly lines that I'm going to export. I want to make sure to choose PNG because I need these lines to be on a transparent background. So now that they're drawn, let's go back over here. We want to go to our all categories. So we get our blue plus sign back and we're gonna add those lines that we just exported just a moment ago. Here they are. So now I need to just size it appropriately. This will take a little fiddling to get it just right. And that's pretty good. So now all we need to do is tell Doodly what order to draw these lines. So of course, click on the pencil icon and we want to tell Doodly how to draw them. So you're gonna go on your first path and you're gonna click and like so. We can make the path size much fatter. So it doesn't matter. And then we need our new path, and then we'll have it go here. Remember, these paths don't need to be super precise on this because there's nothing, it's just going to reveal nothingness. We'll do a new path. And one more. And our last one. Now, before we preview, I want to turn off erase mode. That way, the hand won't erase something. And then let's set some extra time at the end. Let's just say 10 seconds. This will depend on what your use case is for this. You may want to add voiceovers introducing each person or add some music or what have you. Let's just go ahead and take a look and then we'll be done. So here we have the hand drawing on their names and titles. This is where you can introduce each one if you'd like. Again, you could have music if you prefer, and you could certainly speed this up. And now we have the hand drawing the lines. And there you have it how to create a basic organization chart in Doodly. Thanks for watching. Bye.